Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls of all ages, welcome to Sonic Smash Brothers with a twist. Today I actually have here himself, the man, the myth, the maniac, X2I. Formerly known as Prince, formerly known as the sex god himself, he is the creator of <laughs> Sonic Smash Bros, and you can email him right here at x2i at hotmail.co.uk. You can indeed. Thank you for having me. No problem. Now, I actually did watch some of your videos to prepare for this, and you do have a video where you talk about, like, the creation process of Sonic Smash Bros. Yeah, I do, yeah. And I'm heartbroken, because in that video, you state that you don't even like this intro. <laughs> it's not that I don't like it, it's just, when I watch it back now, I think how better I could do it. Um, but I must admit it was good for the time and the limited skills I had, so... I think it's awesome. Like, if I could rewind this, I would have, but I just noticed that there's like a section where the fucking clouds are all like spazzing out, <laughs> and all these clouds are kind of like half a PNG, and you can kind of tell. <laughs> I don't know why it's like that, because I'm pretty sure, I mean, I've, I've still got the source files for this game, and if I load it up now, they're not like that, so I don't know why. So I'm playing with a dirty ROM. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, pretty much every website that you see that has this game, except for Newgrounds, basically stole it and uploaded it, but... I believe it. <laughs> I mean, it doesn't bother me, but... I'm playing on the Internet Archive. I mean, I've gone down in history in that respect. Mm hmm You certainly have. Now, we're gonna just play through some of the game. Uh, let's just, you know, start, try out with, like, a single adventure mode. Something that you mentioned, and also that I've discovered when I was completing this game, is the difficulty doesn't matter at all. Um, sort of. I mean, it it will do more damage when they hit you, and probably less damage when you hit them. Um, so, okay, because I just thought it increased the timer. Hey, go left. Go left. You're right, I forgot about this. <laughs> I just want to talk about this, because this blew my mind. Oh, hold on. Oh, I missed it. You're going to lose all your lives just on this bit. You should have picked Tails, really. <laughs> oh, fuck it. I will pick Tails. I think of that. I, okay, I have iframes and that hit me. <laughs> what the fuck? This game is hard. Alright, last try. And by last try, I mean I have two more. You certainly have. Alright, well, I, now, I guess gonna... you know, that was a pretty good first run. Hold on. I've just ruined your entire video. Oh, you what the fuck? <laughs> What's up? There All right. Go. Oh wait, yeah, I forgot. Okay, if you, it if you touch it, it kills you, so you can't touch it properly. <laughs> There's my sexy ass. <laughs> that, you, you're so hot, man. I mean, come on. I mean, I look nothing like that anymore. <laughs> yeah, you're even hotter now. Uh, that has been said, to be fair. I mean, I used to be really skinny then, so I've put a bit of weight on now and everybody says I look better for it, so... So I'll is that it. a hat with beds on it, or is that something else? Is that a UK thing? Yeah, it's hats with beds on. Okay. I mean, I, I'm incredibly lazy, I hate getting up, so... It was perfectly apt for me. Now the question is, if, if I turn around, am I going to die because of Tails is Tails? Uh, I want to say yeah, but I mean you've only got one life anyway, so you might as well just start the adventure mode again. Unless you're feeling brave. Don't worry, we're, we're playing through this entire thing. <laughs> um, so you kind of like have three different archetypes per character in this game, or like three different archetypes of character. You have the Sonics, the Tails, and um, the n bad. Or the Knuckles. Yeah. So Tails, all the characters like Tails, which are Rouge, Cream, Tails, and I think that's it, have infinite number of jumps, but their combat prowess is kind of dog shit. So all you can really do is like this. They have no up special, which as a kid, I had no idea how to do break the targets, because <laughs> for obvious reasons. Yeah, well, I was going to say that I wanted there to kind of be like hard hitters and then people that are a bit more like hard to hit. 
so I guess you've got both sides of the coin there. Um, but I've, from what I've noticed when people play this game is that it tends to be only the hard hitters that are any good. Um, at least to play like if you're doing the 100 man melees and stuff like that, you don't want to play as someone who's like Tails or Rouge where you can basically just get hit and take Are there over any damage. Easter eggs on this stage? Well, since I, I completely forgot about that other one, I'm going to say there could be, but I don't think there is. What if I go don't up actually, super high? Then you'll die. Definitely, I've done it before. <laughs> I mean, there could be loads that I've completely forgotten about, but... Now, I think all the break the targets are not different, but like you have different, like three different sets of them, right? Yeah, so it basically just randomizes whereabouts they are. Um, their trajectory and speed changes as well with every every time it hits the left or right side of the screen it changes or some of them just stay still um, I'll be honest I didn't actually think I would be playing this game again after <laughs> I did the guide I wanted to speed run it because I thought it would be like an easy record and then I realized that the guy had already put in like multiple hours into it there is just <laughs> one guy that has speed run this game and I'm not going to be able to beat this time without like slaving away on it. And you know what? I really don't want to. Okay, what is Tails' thing? That's it. I don't remember what Tails' special does. I think he just does like a super tail spin the way he spins around like three times. Oh, okay, yeah, you're right. Some of that. Yeah, there is like there's a glitch where you can kind of keep your special it doesn't get rid of it but you have to yeah I think it's it only gets rid of it after the frames are finished like the attack frames are finished so if you interrupt it it, it allows you to use it but keeps your special built up right it's blue red yellow blue blue keep that in mind you'll be quizzed on it later <laughs> blue red Yellow. Blue. Now what was the last one? Blue. Alright, you're paying attention. <laughs> At least that's a extra life to uh, help you through it. See, that's something I actually didn't know, because I kind of like did that stage the first time and then never again. Yeah, most people just click check even though they haven't attempted it. You can just kill yourself and it's faster. Like, if you just SD, it's like 10 times faster. <laughs> oh, I wonder if I'll die on this stage. This, to be fair, is my favorite stage out of all of them. I like it, it looks cool. Oh, there goes Knuckles. I mean, the music's kick ass as well, but. I mean, I, I have to say that like, a lot of the music in this, in fact, I say a lot, all of it, is not my music. I, I never made it. Yeah, um, didn't you, did you have it commissioned, or did you, like, just rip it? I'd stripped it. I mean, they were all on Newgrounds at the time. I thought, you know, a lot of people back then on Newgrounds, they just stole stuff from one another, and we weren't making money out of it or anything, so it was like, what are you going to do about it, really? <laughs> well, I'm so toast. But, I mean, the whole idea of Sonic Smash Brothers is ripped off anyway, so why not the music? Right. Oh. Please. So, the biggest question that people have when thinking about this game, is it ever going to come out of beta? Because it is called Sonic <laughs> Smash Bros. Beta. <laughs> um, do you know, uh, I'm never going to say never, because I'm the type of person that I flick between projects all the time, and seldom do I ever really finish them fully. Um, so the chances of me making oh I did making this out of beta or even making a sequel to it is, is very slim at the moment. Given especially the fact that it was made in Flash and Flash doesn't seem to be um, a thing anymore, really. Right. <laughs> So it would mean I'd probably have to build it in a different language, and at the moment I'm more geared towards web development, um, 
started to learn a bit of like app development for Android and things like that, but. So what you're okay. saying, is, and what I'm hearing is Sonic Smash Bros comes to an app? Probably, yeah. <laughs> now that would be hype. So, it's never say never, but probably not. Yeah. What if I personally paid you to do it? <laughs> um, yeah, you'd have to pay me quite a bit. <laughs> How much? How much we talking? Trillions? Gazillions? $15? Uh, say 100000 why not? 100,000 to develop Sonic Smash Bros. to a fully fledged game. <laughs> I'm not saying it'd be any good, but. I would like just update it for April Fools or something. <laughs> like, unironically? Oh, by the way, guys, Victor the Crocodile is here. Who the fuck are you again? Oh, uh, no one. I had so many ideas for extra characters that I wanted to put in. I mean, some of the things that I want to show you later, like. You'll see that I had uh, plans to put some of the other characters in as well. Okay, um, so out of the character, like, don't tell me any of the ones that you plan to show me. No, nah, But like, I won't. what characters were you planning to put in? Huh? Like, are you, are you going to show me all the characters you planned on putting in, or like, were there some of them that you just had an idea for? Oh, no, for some reason I just was going to put... Well, I guess you can guess which characters we're going to be. I mean... Charmy the Bee. Everybody's favorite. Yeah. <laughs> also probably Eggman. I mean, to be fair, I, I, I wanted to put Eggman in, but the problem was, I'm obviously, coming back to the topic of everything in this game being ripped, even the sprites were ripped. I mean, some of them are from... The, the Sonic Advance games mostly, but some of the the other characters that weren't in the Advance games, those sprites are developed by someone else, and then I've tinkered with them and changed them where I've needed. Um, like Silver and SBO and Blaze. Yeah. So one of the things I didn't really have a sprite that went with Doctor Eggman too much or Robotnik. Um, so. I would have had to create one myself, which would have been too too, too time consuming, but I, mean, I had to think about it the other day actually, like Eggman doesn't appear in this game at all. For saying it's a Sonic game, it's kind of like missing one of its most important characters. Right. <laughs> which I think is awesome. But that being said, I mean, you probably are aware of a game called Super Smash Flash. Yes, I was going to talk about that as well. But no, go ahead. Obviously that was my biggest inspiration for the game, because... At the time, obviously, of being like a young teenager, I used to play Super Smash Bros. a lot with my cousin on GameCube. Yep. Um, that would be about the time. Brawl came out yeah. like a year after this was made. Or a year before. Because this was made in 2009, right? Or 2007? The last update I made to the game was 2007, but I don't think I uploaded it straight away, so... Yeah, um, Brawl came out in 2008. Yeah, and, and they were doing lots of, like, teasers for the game and stuff, so... I actually did start to make a version of Super Smash Bros., which wasn't just Sonic characters, it was, like, Mario as well. Um, Mario and Sonic Smash Bros. would have been crazy. <laughs> <laughs> and I do actually still have the source files for that. Um, you were going to put Mario and Sonic Smash Bros? No, it was, it was going to be a separate game. It was going to be... Oh. I think it was going to be called Super Smash Bros. Duel or something like that. And I think there is actually a wiki page for it somewhere, which I didn't create, someone else did, because they caught wind that I was making that game. I need to know everything about this. <laughs> Maybe I'll show you. Um, all I'm saying is Kirby was the best player in it, and... Some of my friends... Let's go! Yeah, I'll talk about that in a minute, actually. <laughs> um, some of my friends used to play it at college, because I actually, sometimes when I had a bit of downtime at college, I would work on this game as well, so um, my classmates were kind of my beta testers as well. Right. Um, we just had to use different... Oh, I had two player as well. That was uh, another thing, um, which this game doesn't have. Which is a crime. I know. Two player update one. 
if one end, one of you use like the left hand side of the keyboard and one of you use like the, the numpad on the right. Um, See, actually, so I figured this out when I was doing, I don't know if you like watch my content, I did a Super Smash Land video. Yeah. That is only a keyboard game, but I found a way to do it like co-op where it wasn't awful. I've seen someone actually port this game to the to the Wii. That's hype. So I guess you could play it with the Wii remote if you really wanted. <laughs> I'm gonna do that. That blew my mind because I'm like one one of the best things about this game is the fact that I kind of just uploaded it thinking, meh, if people like it, fine, but I don't expect it to be big or anything like that. And then I kind of forgot about it for ten years. And then one day I just decided to do a search for it on Google and YouTube. And that's when I come across like people such as yourself still playing it. And I'm like, okay. Um, and people saying it was like part of their childhood and they grew up with this game. And I guess it's nice for me to hear that some people like loved it as much as they did. Um, Dude, this was my jam. This Pop <laughs> Tropica and Super Smash Flash 1. Let me tell you. Never yeah. unlocked the sequel though. I always tried super <laughs> hard, but no, I just couldn't. Well, I, uh, coming back to Super Smash Flash, I mean, that, when I played that game on Newgrounds for the first time, I remember thinking the very the first one was quite crude, and I'm like, uh, I could probably make something like this. I'm not saying it would be better, but I knew I could make something similar to it. Um, but having followed the progress of Super Smash Flash, I believe they've got number two, which just seems to have been in beta forever and ever and ever. Right, um, so there's something in common with this game. Yeah, but I mean, if you look at if you look at that game now, it's it's like a thousand times better than this in terms of like accuracy and attention to detail. I mean, the physics in that game, it feels like you're actually playing Super Smash Brothers, but just with sprites instead. So I've got to give them props for that. And that, that's probably a, this is going to sound really bad, but I don't mean it to. But that's. Partly why I didn't finish this, this game is because I saw their progress and thought this is better than anything I could ever make, so why even try? <laughs> we unlocked Amy. Yes, you did. One thing I actually really like, and I am going to cut you off on purpose here, is I like what? how these look, like the character portraits. Oh, I drew them. And I really like how, like, I think that's just cool, how you get the actual, like, models from the game in here. I really like the aesthetic of that. Yeah, so obviously the model in the bottom left I didn't draw, but the, the one that you're hovering over, you counter, they, I actually drew every one of them. You can see like some of the pixels in Sonic's like, head that yeah. weren't colored in properly. Who do you want to play as? Do you want to, you want me to play as Tails? No, oh, actually. No, here. We'll do that later. Talk. Continue like what you were saying about Super Smash Flash 2. Yeah, I mean... It was just, it, it sounds bad, and I don't mean it to, but I, it kind of made me feel a little bit like deflated when I saw my product versus what they were building. Um, but I actually did kind of like join their website for a bit and offered talents and, you know what I mean? I actually worked with them for a bit, but life got in the way, I got a job and, you know I mean, I had to do adult things, so. Yeah, I used to be one of the moderators at, on, on their forum, and I actually wrote a lot of the tutorials for Flash. Yeah. Um, like all the coding and stuff for Action Script that you use to make these type of games. Um, did you ever meet McLeon? No, I didn't, unfortunately. I don't actually think I ever really spoke to him at all. <laughs> right. Not. Not. It just seems not, like a mystery. Yeah. I mean, there was a few times he commented on forum posts, but I never actually spoke like we are now or anything like that. But right. This is the worst part about your game, by the way. You yeah. gave these people multiple <laughs> jumps, and so you can't edge guard them. One of the things that I did actually build into this game kind of after this version released was um, a better camera so we used something called VCam at the time um, and 
basically it allowed the camera to follow more, just, more than just one player. So at the moment when a character goes off screen obviously you just get a marker to say they're off screen but you can't actually see them uh, and the camera just stays in a fixed position but with the recam it would zoom in and zoom out and if one of the characters like fell off the edge it would then focus on just you for a second until they respawned or whatever. Um, that, yeah that was all in there and it was something that I was going to release but never got around to it. Never meant to be. So, um, I actually, like, I haven't really told anybody this yet, so this is a bit okay. of an announcement. Uh, I have commissioned a mod for Super Smash Flash 1, because yeah. the camera in that game is, like, very similar to this one, but it's two-player. Yeah. So it's just terrible, because, like, somebody will go flying off the screen and you can't see them anymore. Yeah. It's awful. <laughs> So, I commissioned a mod to fix the camera in that game, so we can have, like, actual competitive Super Smash Flash 1. Nice. As terrible as that probably will be. <laughs> so, in terms of, like, modding things, what if you had to, like, decompile the source, the, the file or something? Or I have not gone? done anything. I know nothing about computers. Okay. <laughs> That's why I'm having a commission instead of, like, working on it myself. Yeah, because I, I remember one of the things that you used to be able to do is say if you had the, the SWF file, which is what you're playing now, basically. Um, you could reverse engineer it and look at all the keyframes and all the, the sprites and things like that. Right. Bonus stage, yo! You talked about this in that video, but I doubt you remember because you recorded it like 10 years ago. <laughs> I think I remember saying that, like, this this randomly pops up every now and then. It's literally just a one or well, it's like it, it generates a random number between like one and ten or something like that. And if if it's one, then it will play this special stage. But one of the other things I remember saying about it is the the music for it. I've had so many people over the past few years message me saying, "What is the name of this song? And where do I get it from?" Okay. And if you give me one second, it is. You know, now that you mention it, I like this a lot. <laughs> it's called Aquatic Project by someone called Sadorf. Sadorf? S A D O R F. So if you're one of these people that's wondering what it's called, that's what it's called. And it is on Aquatic YouTube. Aquatic Project. So. I'm going to have to find a link up for that and put it in the description. Yeah, I actually have it saved. Oh, swag. Awesome. By the way, that bonus stage, why the fuck is it a minute long? Have you no respect for my time, X2I? <laughs> I just thought if it, if it took too long, people wouldn't be interested. And people don't seem to be interested even if I give them limited time. No, so it's just like... Maybe if you offered like, oh yeah, if you get to like, you know, 69, 420 coins, you unlock something cool. But, I or mean, like I still have the source files for this game, so I could do effectively anything to it. Right. <laughs> That's the first time I've been able to do anything with a special, and I killed two people off of one thing. I might be a god gamer, X2I. Well, I think I said I was going to touch on it earlier, but you know when you get like knocked really high up into the air and then you fall back down and fall through the ground? like That's probably one of the biggest complaints. My favorite mechanic of the game. Yeah, totally unintended. I mean, it's to do with. I didn't put a cap on how fast you fall. Okay. So, believe it or not, despite the fact that you can see how thick the the, the stage underneath you is, the actual hitbox for it is only probably that rectangle at the top. So. If you're falling, say say the height of that rectangle is 20 pixels, and you're falling at like 30 pixels a second, then obviously there's a very s chance that you might just, just fall through right it. through it. Okay. Yeah, and that's basically what it is. But at the same time, I did the reason why it's so thin is because you know you said them about um, say if you knock tails off the edge and he comes flying up the bottom. 
if I put a hitbox right at the bottom of that, it would just mean he would teleport to the top of the box, top of the stage. Right. And I'm sure that would be janky as fuck for like characters like Cream and Tails when they recover. Yeah, I mean, to be fair, if I was to think about it now, I mean, I, I've been coding years and years and years now, so I probably could stop it from doing that. Um, but back then, I was still quite new to coding in general, so... If you stream it all, I I know I don't I don't think you're actually going to do this, but you should do like an actual like 24 hour stream where you try to improve this game the best you can or something. <laughs> that would be hype. That's actually a pretty good idea to be fair. Do it. Like I don't know if you're like trying to pursue YouTube or anything or you just want to do it for shits and giggles. But like at the very least this game has like nostalgia value. There are people that I mean, still like message you about this game. Go away, Windows updates. Sorry. <laughs> My computer's trying to reboot. See, um, it wants you to start as well. <laughs> no, but I mean... My YouTube channel, my personal one, has always been just kind of a dumping ground for things. I've never really tried to make it serious or anything like that. Um, oh, what? motherfucker! <laughs> <laughs> I died! So close as well. Son of a bitch! Hey, if only you had the cheats. Right, if only. If only I had the cheat. Fuck. If only I. Fuck. Fuck. So what is it? Shift? Cheat. Control. No. What was it again? I tell you. you bastard. <laughs> Why would I encourage cheating? You know what? I'm gonna fucking look. I mean, just. If you, if you don't click insert and then click it at the same time, that. Fuck. Yeah, I forgot that you're, you're like, super dumb. <laughs> uh, I actually did want to ask you, like, what the thought process behind some of the cheat names are. Because there's up, over, and gone. Okay, so, one of the... Never mind. <laughs> no capitals, I don't think. Go ahead, one of the what? One of the Sonic cartoons as a kid when Sonic's kind of like gearing up to run as fast as he can he used to say up oh, over and gone like that or something not that was a terrible impression but yeah so that was why I chose that as the password okay um, I actually can't remember any of the others all characters um, unlocked what about Miles well Miles power is like pretty simple it's just tails yeah yeah every Sonic fan should know that Chaos control, that's a shadow thing. I'm a big fan of Give Me Lives. Yeah, I didn't. That was just Give Me Lives. <laughs> Although I did spell infinite wrong, which bugs me to this day. That would be my first fix when I do that stream. Oh my god, <laughs> yeah, what the fuck? <laughs> what the hell is wrong with you? I have no idea. I'm gonna fucking comb this entire game for fucking typos now. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Typo Chat with X2I and EMC. EMC. Sonic Boom was the name of that one song. Yeah. I like to cheat, which is famously known as the name of the song that plays in Green Emerald Zone. <laughs> And that's all the cheats, I think. Unless there's a hidden secret cheat. Um, let me check. <laughs> okay. I mean, to be fair, I think the only reason people found these cheats is because they decompiled it anyway, because I never, ever released yeah. cheats officially. Okay, so, like, n nobody told, or you didn't tell anybody? No. That's a good thing to tell the feds. <laughs> New Smash Brothers 2, that's the name of the file. So, while you're looking at that, Espio yeah. was the worst character in the game. Fun fact, Espio is actually voiced by me. Oh, we gotta play him now. Let's hear that shining British slang.
Is the joke that he doesn't talk? Say that again, sorry. Is the joke that he doesn't talk? Yeah, you got me. <laughs> no, Mighty, Mighty is actually voiced by me as well, though, so. Mighty? Yeah, so basically I did the, you know, the grunts and stuff when you get hit. Yeah. So they were all done by me. And in the intro, um, I think it's Mighty that says, uh, you didn't think we were going to miss this, did you? That's, That's that you? Movie. Yeah. Oh my god. Dude, they should cast you as Mighty when Sonic Mania 2 gets released. <laughs> Well, that's the thing. Obviously, in the intro, they all use like official voice clips, and I just remember thinking, well, because Mighty was never seen since Chaotix, and obviously there was no voice clips in that. Like, oh, that's actually big. I got one of these. Oh. So how was I supposed to get a voice clip for Mighty when none exists? So I thought I'm gonna have to do one myself, and then I thought, oh, how is he gonna sound? Well, because he's kind of like known to be a strong armadillo I thought he's probably gonna have like a gravelly voice but I don't have the gravelliest voice or at least I didn't back then either right so I had to tweak it a little bit and make it make it a little deeper than it actually was but yeah it is me okay so why mighty just because you found the sprites one of the things that's annoyed me about mighty is that he's never been in a game since chaotix except for mania not in an official capacity it was almost like he was an official character that we knew existed but just was never used and if you look at the history behind mighty obviously you know why he wasn't i think it was something to do with uh they didn't sega didn't have the rights to use him because they didn't actually design him so i get the history behind it but it just always annoyed me, so I wanted to make sure he was in there because, in my opinion, he's a rightful member of the Chaotix. Right. But then, that being said, I know you're thinking, well, Charmy and Vector aren't in there. <laughs> and Bob Arm, or whatever his name is, that's, that's a Mario guy, isn't it? I can't remember his name there. That little bomb thing. Um, yeah. Like, that was just purely down to the fact that I had rubbish sprite seats for them. And oh yo, this stage game. again! Awesome! Wasn't that fun? <laughs> One of the main reasons why any character comes into this game is because I needed a decent sprite sheet for it, so... Okay, so what are the, like, what are the chances that all five, are they all like a one in five? Because I imagine they're all random, right? For these blue orbs? What, what color they'll be? Yeah. Yeah, it's just it just picks picks from a random color. It picks a random number every time. Cause we just got four out of five, and that's lucky as fuck. <laughs> Would you like how I put the little cross, uh, the little skulls next to your name to show that you've cheated? Well? I do. I'm a big fan of that. <laughs> I'd get that tattooed on me personally. I actually forgot that I was looking for cheats. One second. <laughs> Where's the cheat menu? Oh, dude, the double kill at the same exact time? I am cracked. Jesus, if I, if I look through some of the code now... It just makes me cringe. Yeah? Why? Just... It's crap. <laughs> like, I've come so far in terms of coding now that... I could probably... I, this one frame that I'm on now, which is the title screen, has 705 lines of code. <laughs> wow! And I could probably over half that if I did it now dude you mean if you're doing it now when I do it <laughs> you are so doing this now <laughs> like oh wait I have infinite lives so I can just run off the entire time so I didn't I mentioned this Espio is the worst character in the game 
SBO's yeah. dash doesn't have a hitbox. Yep. It's, it was more because he's a ninja, it's to evade. But I don't actually think that I added the... iframes? Yeah, to evade. There, there is a slight chance of hitting them. I think you just did it a minute ago. No, I think they hit me. Oh, was it? Yeah, then it's probably just purely for evade. But me being an idiot forgot to put in the actual... <laughs> frames to stop you from being hit. No, I hear you. So I want you to know, uh, before you actually like saw the Sonic Smash Bros videos I did, Yeah. Um, I looked up your fucking Newgrounds account and I sent you a message on your Newgrounds account trying to like get you to continue making the game and I was going to pay you. <laughs> Did you? Yeah, I think it went like, hey, I know you probably have like a wife and kids now, but like, can you make this? I'll give you like money. <laughs> Not a hundred grand though. <laughs> hundred grand, I got that lying around. So, I can't remember the last time I actually logged into my new grand account. I figured. When's the last time you logged into your Hotmail account? Uh, I have a forward on it, so... I had x2i at hotmail.com or whatever it was is not actually my main email address now but it's close uh -huh. uh, but I just put forward on it so anybody that emails that it goes to it goes to me anyway oh so because I did email that what you're saying is you just fucking ignored me it probably went in my spam to be fair <laughs> right. so I actually have a revelation for you yeah yeah. <laughs> Go back. Go back to the main screen. Wait, okay, player four is louder than player two. Is it? There's me saying no sweat. Oh, no, 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 okay, hold on. So, if you select all the characters, listen to this. I don't know if you can, like, hear it. It gets louder. I didn't know that. <laughs> <laughs> Do SBO, that's me talking. Okay. No sweat. Why does no it get sweat. louder? I don't know. Why? I Mighty's again. I forgot Mighty's. Sweet. There we go. Why does it get hey, so louder? I have no idea. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. All right. All right. All right. All right. I want you to know that all right sound clip lived in my head for years. <laughs> all right. What were you? What did you want me to do? So, go to the cheat menu again. Cheat menu. So insert. All right. So, the letter I, zero, W, N, try that. I own. What? <laughs> I gotta update the wiki right now, hold on. <laughs> I, I don't actually know what that does. I mean, I know it says infinite power but. I own, hold on, I'm writing that down. I'm bolding that. This is my fucking, like, Sonic Smash Bros. guide. Infin- <laughs> Oh, you spelled infinite. You spelled it wrong here, too. Infinite power-ups. So... I imagine that just means, like, if I find a fire shield... Oh, wait, yeah, this is awful, by the way. I don't actually know what it does. It just says inf pow equals true. Well, I think it's just like, you know when you get, uh, hold on. It's either like the actual super, like your special moves, or if you get that fire shield, you can just use it. That never runs out. Yeah, so let's, um, let's farm for that. Oh. 
Or is it, you know, you're special? You bar at the bottom. Yeah, it's either that or I can just use this forever. Just don't kill him because we'll never know. Oh, no, okay, so. That is a beautiful sound clip. <laughs> yeah, I think that's what it is then. That also gets louder. <laughs> Why? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> that's, that's flash for you. That's awesome. I want to get louder. The question is, how loud can you get it? <laughs> oh my lord. Where you play your speakers at? Do you find any other cheat codes or is that it? I'm thinking that's it. Uh, oh, actually, there's one you didn't put in, but I don't know whether this is actually known. Cheese, please. Hold backspace. Alright, hold on. Bam, what am I doing? Cheese, please. Is that just gonna unlock cheese to chow? Yeah. Yeah. Or just unlocks a big bag of Wensley Day or something for you. I hope so. <laughs> I think you can unlock that naturally anyway, because I do. I, I, I have seen people unlock that. So. Well, you unlock cheese to chow by just completing story mode with the cream. Yeah. So, that's cool. I wrote that down as well. That Sonic Wiki is going to get so updated. But that is all of them, unfortunately. <clears throat> Alright. So how did you feel about like this game gaining like the popularity that it gained? Um, weird. I mean... Almost like an imposter, really, because... Like I said, I kind of just uploaded it almost as a joke, not expecting anybody to ever really enjoy it that much. I mean, I enjoyed playing it, but I was going to say, that's hard to concentrate. <laughs> I'm glad it's a thing. It's terrible. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, like I said, I just, I just uploaded it. And I didn't think anybody would even notice it. And... I don't think at first people did, because, like I said, I managed to go like 10 years without even thinking about it. What the fuck is this stage? I don't know if I've seen this stage before. This is awesome! <laughs> what is this? Hold on, I gotta that. find out. Keep going though, while I figure this out. That's that one. Okay, I don't know if I... Well, why does it have six platforms in this, but four platforms in the actual game? Because I'm a noob. No way. No <laughs> way. <laughs> I just wish I genuinely thought that's how it's spelled. <laughs> X to I exposed. For saying that, I actually pr I am pretty good at spelling, so that's quite embarrassing to be fair. It's, it's <laughs> showing. Don't worry. Uh, you. A sound will play. I wonder what the sound is. Oh, that's lame. Oh, it just sent you back to the beginning. Well, now we can watch your intro again. <laughs> Yay! Take a look. You see uh, you see those clouds? They're poorly PNG'd. Like they just cut. You took half a cloud picture and put it there. I'm getting that intro up now. I'll show you the ultimate power. They are I I'm literally looking at that intro now, the keyframes for it, and the clouds are not pixelated like that. Oh boy, alright, let's get all the characters back. In fact, they're nice and fluffy, and... 
Alright. Well, well, I don't have T cult. Blue my ears. Yeah. Alright, I'm I genuinely think I might have to re re upload the intro in its proper quality because it proper kills it. If you look at some of the artwork that I'm looking at now, it's actually quite crisp. It looks nothing like that. Look at the silver running animation. <laughs> That's art. That's so beautiful. So beautiful. My cat is ruining this recording. I love how the bees, like, they, they're like proper on you until they get close to you and then they just slow down. Wait. Oh, really? I didn't even... Like, the closer they get to you, the slower they go. <laughs> oh, wow. And then they all die one, like, jump. Alright, Kat, are you done asking for my attention while I'm recording a super serious podcast about one of the greatest games of all time? So I actually had two cats when I was making this, and they spent most of the time sat on my lap while I was building this game. See, I love my cat. She doesn't sit on my lap, but all she fucking wants me to do is, like, pet her. So she wants yeah, me to yeah. bend down, like, 180 degrees just to pet her. <laughs> awful. Well, I'm, I'm just looking through some of the source files now and I'm just trying to think of uh, things that haven't been discovered yet. So we mentioned this a little bit. If... what the fuck is that? Oh, okay, that's just like a spin kick. I just saw in the circle. So, if you were to like actually revisit this game, what would you fix? What would you add? What would you do just to, like, put your own personal demons to rest? As in, if I was to just edit what exists currently or build it from the ground up? Uh, either or. It's your question, so you can answer it how you feel. <laughs> um, I think if I was just going to use the existing files, like the existing game that you're playing now, I probably would just fix some of the bugs. Um, maybe add in some of the characters and... Um, maps and stuff that I did have planned for it. Um, again, we'll come back to some of that in a bit because there is um, something that I want to show you which would kind of give you a, a better clue of what I had planned. Um, something that I think you'll find pretty cool as well, to be fair. Um, hopefully. But I think if I was being serious about this game, as in finishing it, I'd want to probably start from the ground up. Um, just purely because Pride Like I said earlier when I was looking at the code 600 lines of code just for the menu screen Like I could easily half that um, I forgot he could do that I don't know how it works though Oh, okay That, he was at 300% and didn't die Because platform <laughs> Incredible so you'd probably start, well, if you start from the ground up, it wouldn't be the same game. Yeah. You hear that? That's the sound of motorcycles. I fucking hate them. <laughs> they always find a way to enter my recording, and so I have to edit it out, and then I look silly. Because, you know, I was doing something really cool, and then... <laughs> which is awesome, by the way. Yeah, I get what you mean about not being the same game, though, but, I mean... I don't know how long it would take me to to just fix this version of the game. And I think that's that's the problem is that if I was to fix this version of the game, I would have to go back and at least change all of the, the, the coding and the script, so... Yeah, it might just be worth it to start from the beginning. In order to keep it the same game that you know and love, then I would have to seriously restrain myself and only fix in certain bugs and for certain things because otherwise it just wouldn't be the same game right no i hear you so if you were to revisit it you would probably just remake it then 
right? It's one of those. I, I'd, if I was to revisit it, I'd want to remake it, but that's not necessarily saying that that's the only way I would ever touch it again. Right. Okay. So, you said stages were planned? Like, more stages? Did you, did you also plan on adding an option that lets me pick my stage? Because right now it's yes. just random. Yeah, I mean, again, I'd, I'd rather show you than tell you, but there is... There was something planned for stages in terms of adventure mode as well. Okay. That's actually pretty exciting, because I already think you have like a pretty good like mix of stuff in adventure mode. Yeah, but what I had planned would make it... Like... I think you actually had this in the Super Smash Brothers games. Yo! ah, I thought they got stuck. They'll do that sometimes over nothing. Yeah, I think there's something in there that tells them to go back to the center to leave you alone for a second. Somebody added me on Discord. Was that you? It was not. Uh, it was my other. It was my YouTuber buddy that I got to play with me for Sonic Smash Bros. I mean, listening to your guys' commentary was hilarious. Cause it's it's just some of the things that you say is like what I've heard over and over again about the game and certain glitches and things but then some of the things you were saying was just completely new to me and hilarious that's what I say I, I love people that play the game and like it's one thing watching someone play it but then to hear people like talking over the top of it and telling me their stories about it telling me how it was a part of the childhood just laughing at the game as well because if you fall through the floor and it's funny to you then I've done my job and made you laugh and that's all I really want to do in life is make people laugh and smile. And I think growing up, I've kind of lost some of that. Like life gets in the way, you know what I mean? You, you have to get a job and buy a house and all that shit. But ultimately, I just want to make people laugh. Now, I hear what you're saying. You mature, you take a look back at yourself. You realize some people just aren't worth it. Yeah, and I mean, this, this, this is like... In the same way that a photo captures like memories of youth and things like that, this to me is a part of my youth that's been put out into the world for everyone else to enjoy. And when I, still, like I said earlier, people have told me that they used to play this when they were kids and things, and it was a big part of their life as well. So it's just amazing. But and one of the things as well about this that makes me proud is that I have. Literally, in fact, let's just look at one of my Flash folders that has Flash projects in. Yeah, I was going to ask about that. What other projects were you working on, or did you work on? Well, I, let's say this one folder, this is one of probably about five folders that have got Flash files in, has 364 items in. Now half that number because obviously one is the source file one is the game file um, and I've literally got things like I tried to make you know the, the Disney film cars I tried to make a game where you go around the track left and right dodging things oh um, like a crazy taxi kind of game sort of like you literally just go left and right and like bombs were going to appear on the screen and you would have to dodge them. Um, what else have we got? I tried to make a Call of Duty Zombies game which is like top down but you control the character with the direction keys and your mouse is where you're shooting. Um, we've got Have you ever played, I think it was like Brain Training or something on the Wii? Brain Age? Something like that. It was basically just puzzles that you have to do and it tells you your brain age and keeps it healthy and stuff. I think that was on the DS. But it might have also been on the Wii. But yeah, there was, there was, I tried to make that kind of game. I tried to make a Halo game. There's a Knuckles Chaotix Advance. Which... It was basically just the Knuckles Chaotix game, but just done in the style of Sonic Advance. Right. Uh, Left 4 Dead game. 
that. Here it comes, here it comes! Boom! Shakalaka. <laughs> Yeah, it's a Pokemon game, there was a... What other games did you actually, like, release? <laughs> That's the thing, Don. Alright, makes sense, so just this one. <laughs> I mean, I would start games and then I'd get, like, 1% into it and then get bored and do something else. So, coming back to this game and what I said a minute ago, this is one of the reasons why I'm proud of this game, because it's the closest I ever came to finishing one. I mean, I've got one other game on New on Newgrounds that the Sonic Surf game that you've probably seen. And I have. I did not just... play it. I forgot about it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's just it was just like one level that I made in an afternoon almost. So that's exciting. The plan was to just upload as much of the things that I was doing as possible, but I just didn't think anybody would care. Right. Okay. Now, you mentioned the, su the Super Smash Flash earlier, and I know you know about the mod of it, like the Super Smash Flash 2 mod for Sonic Smash Bros. Yeah. What do you think about that? So, at first I was kind of like, uh, that's a bit cheeky, like, to say that they're Super Smash, uh, Sonic Smash Bros. 2, like the official one. Because I think they, they termed it the official at first. And I was like, well, you're kind of not because you're nothing to do with me and it's not mine. So, But then I thought, well, I don't really own Sonic and I don't own the concept of Smash Brothers or anything like that. And, and back then I'd kind of admitted to myself that I was never going to finish this game. So if not me, then someone else should. And it was using the same engine as Super Smash Flash 2, which, like I said, was one of the reasons why I never finished this game, because it was too good, so... It was too good. I basically gave it my blessing, I guess, but I've not really seen that much in the way of progress for a while, so... Wait, hold on, did you see that? Shadow Chaos blasted and he had the fucking bunny ears. <laughs> Awesome. So anyways, you're a fan though. You like it? Yeah, I think what they what I have seen so far is pretty good. Like it's it's sort of on par with where I would have wanted to take it if I if I'd made it. Right. Like if I'd have finished this project or started again from scratch. Now I hear you. So I have more questions, but the tab is not up, so... Ba-bam. What am I looking at? So you put in an adventure mode in. You put in a classic mode. What yeah. other modes did you have planned? Um... I don't think there was anything... new, really, per se. I mean... The ones that you've got in this are straight up ripped from Super Smash Bros. anyway. Right. Or did you plan on, like, a break the targets mode with more stages? Yeah, that was the plan. The plan was to have um, a break the targets, but on a variation for every single level. So the level that you're on, for a net, for example, now would have its own version of break the targets. Right. Um, but yeah, that, that just never... That never came to be. Another game you also mentioned in that video that I keep referencing back and back. You plan you were working on a Sonic Smash Brothers 2. Where they work in camera and then like there was nothing else that you said about it, but it just had a working camera and you could move left and right. And the menu was nicer. Yeah, so I actually have the menus. Um was that one of the things you wanted to show me? There was a new intro. There was going to be a new intro as well. That's like. I think the current one I've got here is only about 10 seconds long, if that. Um, there was the concept about the levels, which I 
told you I was going to tell you, but I didn't want to reveal too much straight away. Okay, well, I'll finish this and then we'll take a look at that. Yeah, there was the menu, the, the results screen, and there was um, the character select screen as well. Which you can actually see some of the characters that were going to be part of the game. I didn't mean to finish that when I did. I looked away from <laughs> the screen. <laughs> When it comes to these 100 man melees or whatever it is, like, I have completed each one legit, but only once. Okay. So, in that case, I'm pretty much done with this game. Oh, here's the credits. I think if you click it, it speeds up, yeah. Yeah, that website doesn't exist anymore. <laughs> no, I, I did look that up. Disappointing. It will be x 2 i.me when I eventually get around to making the website, but... I like how you just say some... Oh, you know, there's probably typos in this. <laughs> probably. But yeah, this was my way of kind of at least giving credit to the people that actually made the music and the sprites and things like that. So, what is it? One, two, three... Six people made the all-star mode music? beta testers you still in contact my, with any of these my ex-girlfriend my best friend from school my brother and one of my friends from college okay well that's exciting all, all of which except for my brother I mean I, I obviously talk to my brother from time to time but not that often but the rest of them I have zero contact with anymore right other than like Facebook or probably all right well here this game's pretty much done what you want to show me. You know, got a glimpse of my face there. <laughs> well, I, I hate to break it to you, but your Discord PFP is your face. There we go. <laughs> Look at that hunk. The sex I god himself. Enough. You don't want to see that. Um, how do I share my screen there? I bought these mango, pineapple, like, dried fruit strips. And these are why I wake up in the morning. I absolutely love pineapple, but I hated it growing up. Me too. Right, can you see that? A little bit. Yep, okay. So you can see my screen, yeah? Yeah. I can okay. also hear the child that's fucking screaming. Shut up. <laughs> All right. Go throw a firecracker at him or something. <laughs> it's going to be the so, only portion of the video that doesn't have me fucking banging on my keyboard. <laughs> um, so this this folder here, Sonic Smash Brothers, is actually, it was going to be like the second or the complete one, if you like. Um, but I actually, this here is the... Okay. The source file. So this is where basically the magic happens, so... Like, if you were to open up this, for example, that's that's all the code down there. As you can see, terribly inefficient. Um, but yeah, so, like I said, I still have the source files. I can make changes to the game. It's I've never lost it. Um, but let's look at some new stuff, shall we? So, what have we got? I actually don't know what some of these are. So. <laughs> oh, this is um, Sonic Smash Bros. 2, right? It was, it was either going to be Sonic Smash Bros. 2 or just... Sonic Smash Brothers, but complete. Right. Um, I, I didn't quite know what I was going to do, whether I was going to make it. I, I dubbed it Sonic Smash Brothers 2, but that could have changed. So as you'll notice with this one, it's two-player. So, And you can see the camera is kind of... Holy shit. I don't know if you can hear that. <laughs> I don't know if you can hear that. It's like there's a fucking amusement park outside. But that's just deafened me. Like, you know, when you go off the stage and it plays that like bang sound. Yeah, so I can't hear it by me. the way. So okay, it's probably good, probably for the best. But yeah, so this is obviously like. Let me make it bigger. As as you get closer to the character, you can see the the camera zoomed in and then it it zooms out as you go away. Right, but you didn't put in the animation yet for it to look clean, which I noticed that. Um, one thing I did add as well was um, shading. 
Oh shit! I'm popping off. Okay, you added actual <laughs> attacks. Uh, why does not work? Hang on. So, he is actually supposed to have a homing attack as well. Um, but it doesn't seem to be working. What? You can grab ledge? That's oh, fucking huge! Own. That's yeah. big. If you hang there for too long, I think he falls off. But... There you go. Oh, okay, okay. You have to be very close to get the home attack to work, but... Just like in the games. Yeah. I don't know why, but I was honestly expecting you to start wave dashing. <laughs> but yeah, that's that was something I was like playing with in terms of the like the attacking and stuff like that. Okay. Um, I think this is just another version of that. I don't know if there's anything different about this one. Well, one of the Sonics is darker. Uh, I think the, the, the distance you need to be to get the uh, homing attack is slightly reduced in this, as you can see there. Look. Okay. Okay. So this one is uh, Tails, who morphs into Sonic, because I didn't replace the sprites, but uh -huh. um, this one actually did have a spin dash as well. That's hype. Um, which doubles as an attack. Um And this one has a bit more attacks in terms of like being able to punch and things like that. Okay. Uh, as you can see, there's like a combo lot. <laughs> so it's not just your one attack now, you can actually chain attacks together. <clears throat> um, so I think that's all for that one. Um, and again, I think this is just them two versus each other, but with... I put uh, the rest of tail sprites in there as well, so you can uh, <laughs> do some attacks. So there's there's tails of spin dash, for example. Um, well, that's that's thing. I think that's it for like gameplay, anyway. For the most part, there is there is a couple of other things. Um, that was going to be a promotional picture for it. Um, what have we got down here? Da, da, da. Scoop to camera. Oh, that was me messing around with the camera. <laughs> That's not part of it. <laughs> so whenever you unlocked a secret, it was basically going to do that at the bottom of the screen, rather than afterwards. So you could unlock secrets like just as you were playing, rather than at the end of the level. Right. Um, that was a piece of shadow art that I did. That's pretty big. I'm a fan. What a um, guy. That's my boy. So this was going to be the new intro. Oh, oh, boy. It's not as good as the other one, so don't judge, but yeah. I have been judging you this entire time, dude. <laughs> Is this Evangelion? <laughs> so yeah, like... Why did you can you like put that in slow motion at the end? Which bit? The fucking like part where he lands and then runs towards you like he's fucking trying to grab you on Freddy Fazbear. <laughs> or in Slenderman. Uh, I don't oh. think I slow it down, but I can like I can stop it so you can see. But his hair still parts. moves. You know oh, what I'm, I'm saying, sure. right? Yeah. Oh, it's awesome. Whoa. Oh, I, I hope I didn't... What the fuck? <laughs> no idea. <laughs> Alright, well, exit out. Didn't ask you to save, so it doesn't matter. Um, I'll come, I'll save that till last. Okay. But, um, so put a pin in that. It's basically going to be the menu screen. Um, so... Very similar to the other one, but now now I look back at the original one, I actually think it looked better. I'm, I'm agreeing with you there. I like the original menu. That might just be yeah. nostalgia. But obviously I wanted the finger to be like the same as the Smash Brothers one. Right. Um, yeah, there's not, not too much to show on that. Um, this is going to deafen me, so you might have to give me a second to turn, turn my volume down. What's the song? Um, it's, it's the same song as, you know, the 
the one you play, but oh, hang on, maybe not that one. This one. Bean? Oh my god, you have big! Big! Yep. So vector, ray, knack, mephiles, meph mephilus, werehog. Okay, I'm honestly like I'm I'm a pretty big vector guy. All with new custom art as well, look. Yeah, it looks good. Well, well, the Amy one is still the same. Some of them are still yeah, the same. Yeah, so I think some of them are still the same, but Amy Rouge Cream Shadow. SBO Blaze and Silver all the same. I think I think I think I plan to like redo them all. I just only got around to these guys, but um, obviously Ray that one there. You'll notice Ray probably looks slightly different from how he officially does now, but that was because again until Sonic Mania we didn't really see anything of Ray, so I, I kind of had to invent what I thought he would look like in this style myself. Okay. Um, now, what would the Werehog play like? Um, but but like very bulky, almost like if you were to play as like um, big and big and the Werehog were going to be like very slow, quite heavy. Hitter. The Werehog would have to be a grappler, right? Yeah, like it, it's too good of an opportunity to pass up on. Um, but you'll notice, I mean, like how. You can see an extension of the artwork down here as well. So they they all were like full, full full body models. I like how Mephilus um, just has his regular one. <laughs> it's kind of half and half. So I kind of drew over the top of some of it, but the bits where it's like crystallized, that wasn't me. That that's the original. Is he the only one that bobs up and down? I think so. Yeah. Wow. I mean, obviously, Supersonic and Super Shadow and. There was going to be Super Silver as well. Um, they would have bobbed up, bobbed upside down as well. Not upside down, but you know what I mean. Um, there was also going to be Team Duel as well. That's so big. you could pick what teams you wanted to be on. Uh, and obviously, as you've noticed, there's four characters as well. So this was all going to be two-player at least for these. Um, and then these guys were going to be computers. So four-player max. Yeah, I mean, I, I was going off the concept of you would play on this on keyboard. So, as I said earlier, you'd have someone using the left of the keyboard and someone using the right. Um, <clears throat> if I ever would have had the capabilities back then of having game controllers, I'm sure you could do that now. In which case, I could make these human characters as well. Um, I don't think there's anything more in this to show. Now it's, that's pretty cool. I would definitely be a Victor main. <laughs> or vector main. So, that was gonna kind of gonna be the result screen, which I think that's reminiscent of Sonic 06, which love or hate that game. It actually, like, I love that game. I think there's so many bugs in it, yes, but in terms of the storyline, the soundtrack is brilliant. Um, I just think it was ahead of its time, and as such, it suffered from how crap the Xbox 360 was at the time. Okay. But yeah, that that was when you finish. You would there'd be like an animation here. He would do some sort of animation to say I've won the stage. Right. Give him, anyway. give him, yeah. give you a little thumbs up, smile, eat a chili dog. Yeah, something like that. I mean, one of my friends at the time, his daughter really loved Sonic as well, and uh, he basically asked me to create like a an animation short of him eating a chili dog and then running off and saying happy birthday and stuff. So. That kind of gave me the idea of having some sort of pose here for him. That's awesome. Um, so the idea of the levels, at least for the adventure mode, was going to be something along the lines of this. That's cool. It's sick as fuck. Let's keep it at a reasonable size. <laughs> so the idea being is that you would start on Green Hill and then it would be up to you which route you took. Um, so you could go to Angel Island next and then you could kind of make it easy on yourself so if you wanted to like speed run through it you could just go Green Hill Chemical Plant then straight to Lava Reef but if you did like Green Hill, Angel Island, Chemical Plant Ice Cap then Lava Reef then you would get 
bonus things, bonus points. Um, and depending on what what like path you took, um, there might be like specific paths that you could take that would unlock specific things. So it wasn't just complete the game with Sonic. It was complete adventure mode with Sonic, but having taken every single path that there is in one one go, for example. Um, and then we can obviously move along and obviously I, this is as far as I got so there was going to be more yeah probably yeah. like the marble zone would have been yeah. like there but then marble zone for example you, that at the moment you can't progress to marble zone at marble garden but there would be things that would unlock that and, and ones that would just appear as you get to them so you don't necessarily know they're there until you get to them um but yeah, I mean that's that's that was my plan anyway for the for the map. That's pretty cool. I'm a fan. Um, just trying to think what else there's uh, left to show. Mm -hmm. There was going to be achievements as well. So. Um, right. Those are pretty self-explanatory. Yeah. I don't think I actually wrote what each one was going to be. Some of them are a bit obvious, like, for example, a lot of cheese. Um, there was going to be Chaos Emeralds in it as well. Probably that's what gets you to unlock more stages in Adventure Mode. Yeah. Uh, as you can see, like a lot of these are just like... I just saved Sonic pictures just for inspiration. Like... Um, all the music that was in the game is here, uh, including some that wasn't actually, that didn't make it into the game, but would have. Yeah. Um, and there was one more I wanted to show as well that you were asking about. The stages. Don't forget about those. You'll have to excuse some of the names of these files, because they were just... These are all my flash files I sent you about, basically, so... Um, I mean, there's all sorts of games in here. Like, this was just. This is nothing to do with Sonic Smash Brothers, by the way. It's just me trying to make a Sonic game back in the day. Okay. Um, I'm trying to find. I kind of want to see what that is. Oh, is that just like a regular obstacle course? Um, I actually have no idea what this is. I know he had a turning animation, but... <laughs> Something like that, yeah. <laughs> just A lot of it's just me messing around. Um... Why is the spikes like that? <laughs> Why? <laughs> what did you do to my boy? It's a windy day. Is X2i <laughs> forever... The new website that you were going to make? No, that's a website that I eventually turned into an Xbox website, and then I made the stupid mistake of making a website about Stadia, um, and we all know how that went. Yeah, I, I had yeah, to that's... remember what you were talking about for a second, so that explains how that went. <laughs> but about three years of my life I dedicated to making like the best Stadia website that existed on the internet um, we had podcasts we had competitions we had event days and everything like and then just Google decided one day no Stadia is not going to be a thing anymore so yeah fuck you <laughs> ah my ears hang on All right, are you okay now, or are you bleeding out of your ears? I can't hear you. <laughs> that explains it. All right. No, I can hear you again. Um, another menu set for you. So do you have, like, any working prototypes of any of the new characters? Um, let's find out, shall we? Okay. Um, let's see how far you can get before it crashes so I don't know if you know this one but obviously look at the, the, the layout of the stage is kind of like 2.5D yeah um, it looks good hang on. can you actually attack or anything in this game 
Oh, awesome. So it's strictly just a platformer. Well, I don't know. I'm trying to think whether I actually put the buttons in to do it. You may have to cut this bit. <laughs> oh, there we go. Alright, I was going to say there probably aren't even any enemies, so you should be fine. I, I like that. Uh, uh, you can bounce off the wall if you run into it. Or dash into yeah, it. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh! A blunder! That also looks like the end of the stage. Yeah. I don't think I put a secret in. Although, I did just hear a power-up, so did I put them in? No, maybe not. Um, how do I get back? Let's go back and see if any of the new characters work. You didn't put in the lives. <laughs> I didn't put a lot of things in. Um, I want to see... Okay, we can do big. Yo! That's my guy! That's my boy! <laughs> Did I do any of the attacks for this guy? Let's see him jump. <gasps> Pit big! So he smacks people with his umbrella. Oh, I thought that was a pickaxe. <laughs> oh boy! Screw Vector, I'm a big main. Oh, and he can glide with his umbrella as well. Okay, that's pretty cool. Um, so, I'm guessing, are they the same attack buttons for all the characters? Yeah. Okay. Because I think that would be really fucking funny if Vector had different attack buttons than, like, Mephilus. I keep hearing items, but I can't see them anywhere. I think they're probably just falling off screen. Or you just put in the sound effect, and then we're like, okay, I'll put in the items tomorrow, and then you never did. Probably. Um, have we got any other characters while we're here? Oh, we gotta try them all now. Could you do melee? That would get it done faster, right? Do what, sorry? Could you do the melee mode instead of the adventure mode? Or did you not put I that? I don't think I even did that. I don't know what that okay. is. No, you did not. I'm, I'm surprised yeah. you put in AI. <laughs> but you'll notice, obviously, the camera's kind of like following... Like everyone, yeah. So you got a better... Oh. It just flashed. Okay, so it flashes when they die. Alright, so let's try to see Vector. Wow, you went high. There are no top last zones, are there? No. Nah. Um, Vector, let's have a look. Why is he smaller than Sonic? <laughs> so he got a snap attack like that. Um, swings his arm around. Comes out swinging. That's actually pretty cool. This is like the most in tune with Sonic Smash Flash beta or Sonic Super Sonic Smash Bros beta. Yeah, this one's where the improvements were made. Basically, I just needed to kind of cut and paste everything out of the old game into this. Right. Um, so we could have had Vector in Sonic Smash beta. Yeah. I'm I'm heartbroken. My childhood is ruined. Now knowing what I could have had. <laughs> I want to think. I want to check. Actually, is did Big have a spin dash? No. That would be hilarious. <laughs> so um, let's see. We got Mighty and Bean, and Ray left. No, no, we did Bean. I'm talking Knack. Okay, this doesn't look awful. 
Oh, you improved the glides, because it was really slow in the first game. Alright. Yeah, his, his pretty much, apart from his glide, I think he's pretty much the same as Sonic used to be. Right. That's fine. Um, Tell me you gave Nag Thing a gun. I can't tell you that. <laughs> because I can't remember. He didn't even have Sprite. Oh, I'm sure this is going to go great then. <laughs> no. <laughs> well. I just ruined your dreams. Though. I don't know what's his down tilt. <laughs> you might have a down tilt Sprite. What, what? I had a down tilt. No, absolutely nothing. Just don't even play. Oh, awesome. Oh, you can just... We could have been rewinding this this whole time. <laughs> uh, Alright. Moment of truth. Alright. No. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I remember doing something to him. You might have just put in, like, a different... like. Yeah, it might just be that one. Nope. I don't even know what all these versions are. Nah. Oh. I'm checking, because I remember coding. He actually did have a gun, to be fair. Um... Yeah, you can edit all this out. <laughs> no, I guess they're the only the only characters that I made. Wow. All right, that's still pretty cool um, though. I think that's oh um something that I touched on earlier as well was the um. This looks all awesome. that was. Can you full screen this? So this was, it was basically going to have, you know, the projectiles that you have in Sonic Smash Bros. And the fact that they can roll off the stage like that, for example. Yeah. And this one actually has charged attacks as well, I think. Hang on. Oh, there you go. Do they work? So you could charge it. Fully charge six damage. Ledges are big. Knock them off. Yeah, so they actually do. Alright, well, you're still alive. I thought that would ear uh, ear hurt your ears. Nah. Um, Alright. Yeah. So, is there anything else you want to show me? I actually don't know if there is, actually. I think that's it. I mean, there's probably a treasure trove of things in here that. Dude, I'm just glad I got two new cheat codes for my favorite game. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that's that's all I can think of for now, so Alright, well Smashing Mr. X two I thank you for piece of That's another piece of art for you. <laughs> that's the thumbnail right there. Yeah. That, that's such a that's that's the thumbnail. That's where it came from. And I don't think there was anything else in that. But thank you for taking the time out of your day to come chat with little old me. That's fine. It's actually been quite a trip down memory lane for me, and I've enjoyed every second of it. So, I hope I've inspired you to, at the very least, release an April Fool's update where you fix the typos in Sonic Smash Brothers Beta. Do you know what? I'll, I'll do it just for you, I think. Thank you. I'm not, I'm not going to promise which April Fool's it will be, but... Yeah, so, you know, in 2030... <laughs> Maybe yeah. <laughs> hey guys, new new Sonic Smash Bros update. 
The world ended two years ago. I know. <laughs> I might do it so that like it releases upon my death or something. That would be hype. <laughs> We're gathered yeah. here to mourn X2I, but before we do that, I have an announcement. Go for it. Sonic Smash Bros. Beta is no longer a thing. It is now just Sonic Smash Bros. Vector the Crocodile <laughs> is there. Everybody else has been removed. <laughs> Vector Smash Bros. Vector for Smash Bros. True. Alright, well, what are your closing thoughts? Um, Just thank you for having me on and for talking about my game. I mean, like I said, I, when I uploaded it, I didn't have a clue that it would get any sort of following whatsoever. So... To actually talk to someone that's played it is just amazing. Um, and it's it has inspired me to potentially look into that kind of aspect of my life a bit more in terms of like game creation and what have you. So, we'll see. Well, I'm, I'm going to like roll back the curtain here. And I'm, I'm, I know I've been joking and cheeky the entire time, but I really do appreciate that you made this game, Sonic Smash Brothers. It mm-hmm. is... A game that was important to my childhood. Um, yep. It was genuinely just something I put in a lot of time into when I was younger. And I'm happy I can still play it today. Uh, so, sincerely, from the bottom of my heart, thank you. You're welcome. Now give me your wallet. <laughs> but yeah, that's, uh, that's going to be it for this episode of... By the way... Uh, my podcast is called Conversation with Cretins. I, I haven't thought of that this entire time, but that's that's what this is called. <laughs> so you're a cretin now. Don't know what that word means. Mike Wazowski <laughs> used it in Monsters, Inc. one time. I think it's usually like some sort of like creature that's decrepit. I think it's a cross between those words. Yeah, so, so you're that. <laughs> Um, uh, I hope that you like one day revisit it as maybe just a passion project but I understand if you don't want to uh, the, uh, I'll be completely honest the want is there I've, I've never not wanted to do this it's just more of a A do I have time B do I have the patience C is what I put out there going to be of good enough quality especially now that like you know, I mean, Flash games back in the day, back in when Newgrounds was at the height of its popularity, they they were these kind of games. And if you look at some of the things people are doing now in terms of like Unreal and with artificial intelligence and things like that, like would if I was to make this game now, would it be 10, 20 years too late? You know what I mean? So it's not that I don't want to do it, it's just it has to be the right time and I have to be able to do it in such a way that I think is, is right. Well, my advice for you is to not worry about that and just create the game that you wanted to create. The original game wasn't intended to blow up. It wasn't intended to be (laughs) super cool and famous and have people all over the world play it. It was just something you did. Yeah. Wise words. Yeah. So, if you just want to finish it, don't finish it for other people, but finish it to say, I did that. Make something you're proud of and if people don't like it, it doesn't matter. It wasn't made for them in the first place. You've inspired me, sir. I'm, I'm good at it. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that's going to be it for this episode of Conversation with Credits with the Sex Master SX2i. I almost called you S2i for, you know, S for sex. Thank you for sex coming to on. Sex2i. <laughs> Book it, Vince. But yeah, no. Uh, Thank you for coming on, and say goodbye. Goodbye. Thanks for having me. Bye. Bye Bye-bye. All right. It is 6.35 a.m. in the morning. Uh, I still don't know how to, like, rotate this. This is a new phone, so currently I have to rotate it, like, literally with my hand, which is awesome. I love it. Let me tell you. Oh, I gotta, I gotta record it like this. Oops. 
Hopefully that doesn't fuck up the recording. Um, this took me multiple hours to edit, and it didn't have to. It could have just been easy. It, it could have just been easy. But instead, I fucked up the audio, which isn't really shown at all. I think I did a good job covering it. And if I didn't fuck up the audio, this video would have been done 20 hours ago. Is that an exaggeration? I don't actually think so. This is fucking, oh my god, I could have done like so much more stuff with this, but like literally, look at all the fucking cuts. Alright, I'm no editing tycoon, but that, that, that doesn't look healthy. It kind of lags my fucking software, my editing software, if I do it too fast. And I want to do like a bunch of stuff, but the only way I'm going to be able to do that is if I manually move every single piece, every single clip to and fro. And I'm sure there are ways to do it easier. I'm sure I could have just like fucking processed the video and then done whatever I wanted to do with it super easily. And you know what? I don't care. I just wanted to make this video watchable because this is pretty fucking cool. Holy fuck, this was a nightmare. Thank you all for watching this episode of Conversation with Cretans. I'm your Cretan, your host, MC Hawaii. And this is my kitty. Mwah. Say bye, kitty. I'll take it. All right, bye.